Welcome back. Fun with sales or effective selling. Chapter 10, the last one. I'm going to talk about comfort and fear and give you some examples of that. First, I start with comfort. It's a story, a true story. I had a young man who wanted to succeed in life. He had ended up in Spain and had a job. And when I asked him, how is it going? He said, yeah, it's okay. I do my work. It's okay. I'm kind of, you know, happy with it. But the question was, are you really happy or is this what you really wanted to do? No, I really wanted, you know, there is a job on Ireland that I really want to have. They offered me, but, you know, I don't know the outcome. I don't know what to do. Because I'm, I'm kind of okay, you know. It's, it's business as usual. So, during that discussion, we, I asked him a lot of questions about how was the situation, what is the situation, what does he want, how, when, you know, in order to find out the information. Finally, I asked him, do you really want this job on Ireland? And he said, yes, that is actually what I want. Have they offered you something? Yes, they have. So why don't you take it? Yeah, because I don't know the outcome. And I'm pretty okay. You know, I'm doing okay here. So I asked him, what is the worst case scenario? And what is the best case scenario if you take that job? A week later, we talked again, and he said, I've already booked the ticket, I'm going to Ireland. To continue the story, he was the best sales guy ever in that company. He outmatched everyone. What he sold, the whole combined group sold together, per week, per month, per quarter, per year. The best case scenario. That brought him success. I am back. I will be back. Will you?